also ground meat. Delicious. You can get low fat versions, you can get turkey, you can get chicken, you can get beef. I've even seen like ground salmon or different fish. They were great and they're delicious and easy to cook because it's ground, it's you know, you cook it until it looks right. Um, one thing a lot of people don't really talk about much, at least that I've seen with my friends and family and everybody who cooks, uh, veggie crumbles. So my wife's vegetarian, which means a lot of what I cook at home tends to be vegetables, tends to be veggie crumbles or the different brands of types of meats and that are the imitation meats, the, the veggie options. I'm not saying you need to immediately switch to that. However, I'm going to list the benefits that I've found for some for some products occasionally as I go into this. Today, Morning Star Farms Veggie Crumbles. So these are just a replacement for ground beef or ground turkey. A 12 ounce package like this is the equivalent of a one pound thing of ground beef or ground turkey once it's been cooked. This stuff doesn't really shrink like ground beef does as the fat cooks off. Um, however, it's fantastic for diabetics for a couple of reasons. First, it's very low fat, so you don't have to worry about eating a lot of meat and having or eating a lot of things that aren't carb heavy that have other side effects like having more cholesterol or having more fat, um, which can be an issue. In this case, it's got a half cup serving, has nine grams of protein, two grams of fat, which is a you know the good the good type of healthy complex fat, um, four carbs, of which three carbs are fiber and only one carb of sugar. That's fantastic for anybody who's trying to manage blood sugar. Best part, cholesterol is zero. What I will say is, since I've been cooking for my wife and I, and since we've been more limited on the types of meats that we're using versus the types of veggie crumbles that I use for hers. My cholesterol is in the perfectly normal ranges, which is for my family is a little bit strange because usually it's higher cholesterol. So I do believe that some of the vegetarian diet, now I'm not vegetarian, I do eat ground beef, I do eat ground turkey, I even have jerky once in a while, I do, you know, I, if we're going out to eat I wouldn't mind getting a burger or a steak. But if I'm at home, it's so much easier to cook something that both of us can eat with one in one pan or one you know one set of food. So that way I don't have to worry about making multiple different types of meats and things. Um, I really like these. The texture is great. Uh, the flavor is very doable. It, it's not perfect. It's not it's not a perfect ground beef analog, but it's pretty close to ground turkey actually. You can use it in anything that you would use with ground beef. I've seen it used in Hamburger Helper. I've used it in chilies. I've actually made burgers out of it using a burger press and egg whites. Delicious. Um, you can also use it for any application where you're going to use ground beef. It's tasty. It's And the best part, at least I think is, it's cheaper where I'm at in the Washington area to buy this than to buy a pound of ground beef or a pound of ground turkey. A pound of ground turkey comes out to about, if you buy it in bulk, you get about, it's about $3.30 a pound. A pound of ground beef is closer to $4 a pound around here. And this pack from Safeway or Fred Meyer, which is Kroger, Ralph's, um, about $3.50 which is the equivalent of the ground turkey, but if you buy it at Walmart, you can get a larger package for $2.78, which is a fantastic price because it's almost half the price of ground beef. And considering all the, all the health benefits, and if you're gonna use it in something that's heavily seasoned, that has lots of other ingredients like beans or vegetables or like a pasta, you're not gonna notice that it's not ground beef. I would highly recommend it. I like it, it's cheap, it's easy. You don't have to worry about undercooking something, which is fantastic, because you can get really good, crispy, fresh vegetables and still get all the seasoning cooked into everything with this. Um, 
Yeah, I highly recommend it.